What's up today, my fellow Madden soldiers? So what I'm going to be doing right now is letting you guys know the top 10 players that you need on your squad right now. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. So when I'm going through these players, don't feel the need unless you already have them to go and get every single player. I'm just going to name specific players. And if you want to get one or two, or even if none of them, that's, that's all right. However, what, as I'm going through them, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys um, some free players. I'm going to give you guys some top players. Basically, all these players that I'm going to give you are acquirable. Some are going to be costing a lot more, but some would be in the mid range and some will be free or very cheap. You know, I'm trying to give it, I'm trying to be realistic and it's based on um, me using these cards. It's not based on the stats. It's not based on, oh, you know, someone said this is a good card. It's based on me using them. So there's certain cards that you've probably been using or heard of or seeing whatever that probably works good. Like for instance, I know Michael Crabtree is, is one of the top receivers. I will say that before I even begin this video, I had them before. I got rid of them because I knew I was gonna get Cortland Sutton for free and I don't mind having Cortland Sutton. I don't regret it because I want to be able to use my free player as long as I possibly can. It's about it's about doing it's about building your team smartly, right? So, but I will say that off the top just to let you guys know that I know he's one of the best receivers and his price went a little bit back up, but it's, he's, he's, he's more affordable uh, considering also you can get him in a set piece and get the BNDs back, right? So I just want to say that real quick. But anyways, the first player I do want to say, I know he's kind of pricey, but I'm telling you right now, he is worth every penny is Drew Bledsoe. And let me tell you, I've been using several QBs. And I usually settle for the QBs that I use, and I just accept, you know, the discrepancies that happen with the player. I'm like, whatever. But now that I have an actual good QB, now I know what people talk about, right? Especially with set feet lead. This guy, no lie. I'm not even exaggerating. He will throw a pass that I'm like, there's no way this dude's going to complete it. That's it, pick. I'll just throw it anyway. As you guys can tell, I will get picked off at times. Because you'll be like, why are you throwing that pass? It's because 9 out of 10 times, this guy usually won't throw a pick. He will end up completing a pass that, I mean, of course, you still got to have a good receiver too. But what I'm trying to say is our decent one, but he's able to make that pass and it's able to go through the hands of a defender and straight to the receiver. And it's because of his passing. So that's one thing I like about Drew Blood. So like I said, I know he's a little bit pricey, but if you're able to get him and you got the coins, I will get him. If not... Look, if you can't get Drew Bledsoe, stick with the free players that you get. Tim Tebow. Uh, Tim Tebow's good. Um, what's the other one? They did? Oh, Justin Fields. Someone like that will actually be a good QB. They might miss it here and there, but it's free. Why not? Trevor Lawrence is another free one. If you guys um, got him, he's another D. He's actually pretty decent. If you don't, there's other free QBs that they're giving you guys you guys can use temporarily. But I'm telling you right now, in the long run, um, he's a decent, to me, he's the best QB in the game um off, off the top i'm being honest with you guys so he's a must-have in my book like i said if you're able to get him if not those other options are available um it just depends on how you want to run your scheme another one this guy has made it in every single video that i did a top 10 on our top 10 players is demarco murray i'm probably gonna go over over just a little bit over the top 10 because i'm gonna give you guys suggestions about other players i'm trying to make it evened out and more reasonable for you guys to get players also right but once again they're going to be off my experience and how they work for me so you guys know that i'm not lying about it this demarco murray one of you guys asked me a while back i have this player should i get rid of him who should i get? I said, get demarco murray he's like i got him as my backup i said bro you got him as your backup he needs to be your starter and just to let you guys know i got rid of beast mode i like beast mode he's cool but in my honest opinion demarco murray was better you guys could all try to argue about it, debate about it. I'm telling you, I use beast mode. And DeMarco Murray was a, uh, he will rush through people, truck people, break tackles. Like, I'm glad that, that not only is he a cowboy on the cowboy theme team, but he's also a budget beast that uh, EA released to us so we could go ahead and have fun and win games with this card. I don't like playing against him. I like using him, but I don't like playing against him because I know he's a goon. And you don't need any other halfback right now but him. Unless you have a theme team or someone else that you need for your specific theme team, then go ahead and do it. Um, Beast Mode, I, I like Beast Mode because I just like him as a player. But in my honest opinion, the marker where he was better. And I had to get rid of Beast Mode because he was way too much coins. For, for what for what DeMarco Murray could do better. Yeah, there's no way. If he was as much as DeMarco Murray, I probably still would have had him just to have him on the squad. But there's no way. Like, DeMarco Murray is a goon on the squad. So, Drew Bledsoe, DeMarco Murray. This next player that you, you guys are probably not going to think nothing of it. I don't even think he made my top 10 before. 
I don't know why, but he needs to, and there's a specific reason why right now. It's Tyler Baidas. There might be another center or another lineman, like a legend or something like that, that gets this discounted AP, but he's the only one that I know so far. I even looked at these other ones, and I also have other linemen that are high overalls. He's the only one that I know right now that gets identifier for 2 AP. And I always use identifier. It's a must have. And another thing, you want to make sure you have it. Don't put it on your QB. I don't even care if the QB gets it for 1 AP. Don't put it on your halfback. Do not put it on another. Put it on your lineman. The reason why is because if you put it on someone else, identifier will be activated a lot of the times. You'll be able to see your opponent. But on kickoffs and stuff, no, no, I'm sorry, not kickoffs, on like field goals and all that stuff, you won't see where your opponent's at, which is very pivotal, especially if you're faking the, the, the field goal. And I noticed that. Like, if I had it on my QB and, and it's time to uh, do a field goal, it, I won't even see where my opponent's at because I don't have it on my lineman. So that's one thing that I've seen. So make sure uh, to understand that and know that and have whatever. If you have identifier, have it on your lineman, even if it costs 1 AP on your QB. I'm being honest with you guys, right? Um, it, just, it just, to me, it's, it's a big plus. However... There might be legends or higher overall cards, which you guys don't want to go get a high 89 center or whatever the other centers, whatever that's out there. Um, I do got another center to 88. He don't get identifier for 2 AP. He gets it for 3 AP, just to let you guys know that. So Tyler Baida is the only one that I know so far that gets identified for 2 AP. He's a must have. He's an 87 overall, which is decent right now. And he's going for about at least 100K coins, maybe just a little over. And to me, that's worth it. So definitely, that's why I haven't traded him out. Like on the 4050, on the 4050 squad, because I have an 88 overall center, I, I thought about trading him out. But look at, I have the center right here, Frank Ragno. And I got identifier on him on my main goon squad, but it's for 3 AP though. So I'm definitely not going to add him to a squad right now because that AP is way too high and Tyler Bad is the must have. All right. So we got Drew Bledsoe, DeMarco Murray, Tyler Baidaz right now. The fourth one that I'm going to be speaking about is Cavante Turbin. And I know you guys are going to say, oh, he's small, you know, this and this. Um, I'm not talking about getting him just so he could throw it 10, uh, like 100 yards down the field and he could jump up and grab it. Even though at times he, he might be able, he, he'll, be, he'll be able to do that. It's Madden. However, what I like about him is he's a great punt returner. He's fast at that punt returning. So they give him a card that actually works for what he's known for. Secondary, second, secondly, I should say, I mean, I'm sorry. Secondly, I should say, is that if you put him on corner routes and all that, his route running is insane. He will, like, especially when they're running man, he's so fast to go around the defender and he's short that you're able to throw it to him. And it's kind of hard to pick off because he's short. Like, I'll even throw him on, like, uh, corner routes where he, as soon as he surpasses the defender, I'll throw it. And this dude's wide open. He, then, then when he gets the ball, he's running like 100 miles an hour. So that's the reason. That's another guy. Like I, said, I know he's pretty pricey. I'm just putting out players like this. Um, but a good budget beast, you guys already know, CD Lamb. CD Lamb, Kavante Turman, just shorter and, and faster. That's what I like about him. But CD Lamb, um, he is a little bit fast, but he's strong and he's able to break tackles and everything else. So that's another receiver. If you guys can, go ahead and get him. And CD Lamb is free just to let you guys know that. So the other one on offense that I'm going to speak about right now is Dave Casper. Hands down. As you could tell, I got him as my wide receiver, and he's a 92 overall. Another thing, too, season, season one is still activated, so anyone could get this Dave Casper right now. There's no excuse for it. It's so easy to level up right now because there's so much in game. Even if you just got the game, you could get Dave Casper. He's free, and he's going to be able to be a, he's gonna be a tight end on your squad for a while, right? Um once I got Mike Dicka, the only reason I got Mike Dicka is because I'm a Cowboy fan. Of course, I'm running 40, 40, 50 Cowboy theme team. But if it wasn't the case, I wouldn't have got Mike Dicka because Dave Casper's just that good. But because I got Mike Dicka and Dave Casper is a night 2 hour receiver, that's why I put him at it. That's why I recommend it is because you could use him as either one. You only have to have the team can activate it if you don't need to. I just need him as, that, as, um, as a receiver. And I'm telling you right now, at this position, I've used him. And this guy, once he gets to, he, I mean, he gets that ball. And once he does and he breaks through that first tackle, it's over with. Like, you're not catching this guy. It's, it's, it's very hard. Look at it. Look at 89 speed. 83 strength. 92 catching. 91 catching traffic. 91 spectacular. 90, 91 short route. 89 medium route. 82 run block. Look at the height. 6'4 with 93 jumping. So definitely a must have. And once again, you could get him for free. All right. So now to the next one, the defense, right? Ronnie Locke. I've been told you guys about Ronnie Law, right? I told you guys I was waiting until I got my 
all Madden 89 B and D player that they're gonna give me free from the competitive pass. I end up pulling pulling two Joe Montanas. I still got him. I'll keep him in my binder for now. Might use him later on or something like that. But the thing is, is that once I realized I didn't pull him, I bought Ronnie Lott for 200k. Some of you, I might I might be a lot, but to me, that's actually cheap in comparison to what the other other free safeties are going for and how good Ronnie Lott is. I was like, I got him off the top, and I'm pretty sure he's going for more now. So I got him. I was able to snipe him. I'm very happy with it. And he's a must have because this dude is shut down. Um, he's a heavy hitter. Um, he's a goon on the squad. Look at he got 93 zone, 89 hit power, 87 man, 90 play rec, 86 speed. The only thing is his speed. He's just he's just a little slow when it comes to his speed, right? Because we, we're used to like 80, 88, 89, and 90 when it comes to free safeties. But in the end, the free safeties don't really need to be as fast because they're out there um, as a safety and coverage out there. So. It, I'm not really tripping as much, even though that's cool. But uh, he's a he's one, one um, so he's a six player, six player that I, that I already spoke about so far. The other one is gonna be Demarcus Ware. Like I said, I know he's. I'm gonna give you two options right now, right? To be fair, Demarcus Ware is a goon. Pay attention to what I'm about to say right now. Demarcus Ware is a goon, considering his stats and everything else. He got decent stats. However, because I know he's going for a pretty penny, I only picked him up because I, I mean he is a goon. But the big reason I picked him up because I'm a Cowboy fan. I want him for my Cowboy theme team. But regards to the fact he is a goon. So if you have the coins you need, I'm telling you right now, he is a good pass rusher and he does make it happen on the field, right? However, I put him as left outside linebacker. If you can't get him or he's like, you know, it's a little bit too much coins, get Anthony Barr. You guys might already have him ready. Get Anthony Barr. Not only is he a good coverage middle linebacker, I actually put him on the on the uh, defensive end side, right? And then I'll put... Uh, He'll sack. <laughs> this guy got more sacks than Demarcus Ware. I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you guys, and I'm not I'm not even capping or, or over exaggerating. This guy got more sacks than Demarcus Ware. This guy is just like he's coming out. He's I put him as a spy. I, I I'll put him as a spy, or I'll put or uh, man him up with the halfback. Right, if the guy keeps he always wants to do like wheel routes, or they want to do uh, the Texas route and stuff like that. So I was like, you know what? If I see someone constantly doing that, I'll man him up with that because he's fast. Um, whether on a theme team or not, he's fast and uh, and he's able to shut it down. So once again, if 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 I had to pick for you guys, I'll say Anthony Barr just based on the fact that I don't want you guys to waste tons of coins. But if you do got it like that, and you're like, hey, I just want the best player. It's going to be Demarcus Ware at the left outside linebacker position. Okay, um, you could go with um, Vaughn Miller too if he's your favorite player. But once again, though, you, if you guys are able to, I will go with Demarcus Ware and Vaughn Miller at your left. Your, your right and your left outside linebacker. You, they'll be an unstoppable duel just like they were in real life um, when they were both playing for the Broncos, right? So just to let you guys know that. But but if you want to be smart about it and you want more of a, a budget beast and he's a set piece because you'll get him back as a B and D if you don't already have him, it's 87 Anthony Barr. This guy is a goon. I'm telling you guys right now. Another one, which would be the eighth one, is Troy Polamalu. He made my top 10 one time. The last time he didn't make it because I got rid of him. And the only reason I got rid of him is because I was waiting for him to get cheaper because at that time he was going for about like what 300 350k so i sold him back for about 350k and then i ended up buying him back for 210 or something like that i bought him for real cheap back so i was like okay that's cool i want him on my squad because the way i looked at it is i'd rather have them than those new players that came out there going for like 600k which is you know cam chancer and all that stuff so i was like nah nah one just cam chancer alone I sold him and I was able to buy Troy Polamalu, Ronnie Law, and another player. So that's what I, the way I looked at it. So he's another one. So that's our eighth one. The ninth one I want to talk about that that's new to the edition that I actually tried out and he was a goon, DeForest Buckner. I knew off the top when they released his poem when I seen him. Year after year, he's decent. I picked him up right away. I started playing with him online and this guy was already doing numbers. He got about four or five sacks already, right? Which is actually very good especially for defensive tackle and i don't even have no abilities i got ability he has ability on him but i don't have it activated i don't even have it activated and he was getting sacks just to let you guys know that all right so he's gonna be my fourth one and he's not even that fast let's go ahead and check him out real quick just to show you guys his attributes 76 speed but look at his other ones 88 finesse 88 block shit 80 power move 88 play rick which i love and 85 strength and 87 tackle and he comes in at six seven so he's able to bat down that ball too if they try to throw it and he has so that's going to be my ninth one my tenth one my tenth one take a good guess on who you think it's going to be 
take a good guess on who you guys think it's going to be. If I had to go with my number 10 player, it would have to be Stephon Gilmore. I'm not going to say Charles Woodson. He's way over the top. I mean, it's self-explanatory um, or plain to see that, you know, Charles Woodson is going to be a top defender. But I'm going to go with someone who's acquirable and someone that's been performing well every single game. And he's made it on my top 10 week after week just to let you guys know that which is Stefan Gilmore. And you guys could get him for free if you want him by, by leveling up in the uh, season competitive field, I mean, season field pass, all right? So if, like say for instance, you're not gonna be able to get him, like, oh, I need another, what do you call it? Get that 88 overall, um, that, what, what, I forgot his name, something sauce, the new the new mentor pro, um, guy, because I'm gonna pick him up too. Once my next free mentor comes around, I'm gonna pick that um, Garden Sauce, I, um, I, forgot his, I forgot his name. But he's a, he's that new 88 um, overall cornerback with 88 speed. Once again, once I get him, I will be getting rid of Charles Woodson. Not that Charles Woodson's not good. It's because he's a going for a lot. I, I'd rather, you know, get my coins back and get a free player. I like using all my free players I get. Um, and then I'm going to pick him up, add him to a squad, get rid of Charles Woodson and, and Congo from there. But besides that, though, I will have to go on Stephon Gilmore because not only is he free, a lot of you guys have him, and you guys know without a doubt he shut down. Of course, he's gonna get smoked that time, and he's gonna he's gonna you know get dusted and stuff like that. I mean, it's just the way Madden works. But a lot of time, more so than anything, he got pick sixes, and he surprised me most of the time. So, anyways, there it is. There, let me know what players that you guys like the best for your squad, and what's been working for you. Maybe later on, um, I might consider it and put them on my squad and see how they actually work. So, there it is. There, if you guys like seeing we've seen, drop a like on the video. If you guys need subs up to the channel, there will be more great, amazing content coming your way. Thank you guys all for tuning in. I'm